Hello everyone, Pally Timer. Welcome back to my Artie the Archer playthrough where we use just the bow and we make it look really good. Uh, we died getting into the cathedral in the last episode, but it shouldn't be that hard to get our stuff back. There we go. All of those souls retrieved. Now let's see if I remember how to do this. So we let him come out. Um, those Balder Knights, man, they were pretty formidable. All things considered, to be, I mean, just being totally honest here. The fact that shields in this game block everything from the tippy top of your head to your toes, I think, is a little unreasonable. A little unreasonable. The item we picked up on that altar there was one of the Firekeeper Souls that is simply going to allow us to reinforce our Estus Flasks. Uh, oh, curse is on the screen. Red alert, red alert! Uh, which just means that we're going to be able to heal for more with our orange juice and um, take a little bit more damage. Make our lives a little bit easier. Now, I have not leveled up at all yet because I wasn't sure how many arrows we were going to actually need. Uh, and we don't have that many items sitting around either. Let's see, how do I switch arrows again? So I have eight large and 117 small. Oh, I don't need you. I think that'll be... I'm so used to leveling up over at characters. I think that'll be enough for the boss. I'm pretty sure. Now, as far as stats go, I have no idea what I actually need. Uh, there is a bow that we're going to get that scales off dexterity. I don't know how much dexterity. And I can level up five times. So let's do two dexterity, one endurance, one vitality. And then let's do one more vitality. Let's get some health. Okay. And now the Firekeeper Souls I need to give to this lovely lady over here. Who will reinforce my Astus Flask. Make it a little bit easier to heal with. And then we can even take it a step further if we really wanted to. And pop a couple humanities. Actually, I don't have the right of kindling, so I guess that's all I can do. Uh, we'll reverse our hol hollowing and kindle the bonfire. Reversing our hollowing puts us in human form, just so we can do co-op. But I also believe you have to uh, be in human form to kindle the flame. Maybe that's not right. Maybe that's maybe that's not right. Yeah, we used a lot of arrows on the Balder Knight specifically in the last video, just because they kept blocking everything. We have 644 souls. You know what I should get really quick, actually? Is some of these Homeward Bones down here. Homeward Bones would allow us to teleport back to the last fire that we sat at. So if I ever do run out of arrows, at least we have a contingency plan. You know, we have something to fall back onto. Yeah, I'm not going down there. Not yet, anyway. The catacombs might actually be easier to venture into with a bow character, because you can get to the necromancers a little bit easier. Down in the catacombs, there's necromancers that keep skeletons alive, and they continuously respawn to chase after your character. But we might actually be able to do a little bit of damage to them. All right, back up to the castle. Not much has been killed up here. So we might have a little bit. Look at his cheeky little smirk. Artie's so happy about life, and he has traps like no one's ever seen before. Good God, Artie. Holy shit. Pull on that bow really did a number for your shoulder definition. My God. Wish my back looked like that. Here I am hunched over in a fucking computer chair like I've never even heard of posture. Oh, I forgot you were there. I forgot you were there. Okay, here's the plan. Bring him downstairs. Get off the stairs. Off the stairs. Off the... Get off the stairs. You're running into a pole. There you go. Now go up the stairs. <laughs> All right, we already had to use one Estus flask, so that sucks. And this room can be a fucking nightmare. Oh, not bad. Not bad. So we're about to have attempt number one on the gargoyles. No co-op. 
We'll just kind of see how this goes. Yeah, <laughs> I could see their health bar there for a second. Who's it gonna be? I've never seen this boss before. Who could it possibly be? I wonder if it's gonna move! It's coming to life! All right, boys. <laughs> oh God, gonna be a long boss fight. Gonna be a really fucking long boss fight, isn't it? Shit. Ah, oh, and that frame lock we get from this bow is killing me. Quite literally. Didn't even lock on, didn't even need it. Get out of range. Now, of course, uh, those of you that have seen this fight before... Ouch. Know that there's gonna be another gargoyle soon. So we're gonna have double the trouble to deal with here. Come the fuck on! I tried to fire a shot there, but we took so long turning around that I couldn't actually do that. See, look, it like cancels the animation. I don't need to lock on for this. I mean, this is pretty straightforward. Especially when we're this close. I'm just gonna fire him into his back. All right. Now we're gonna change up our game plan and just try to stay way the fuck back. Oh yes, cast the fire. Fire is good for us. Fire is damn good for us. Okay. We need to focus that one on the right. Oh god, this is beautiful. Oh, that hurt. Oh, that that hurt a lot. That hurt a lot. Oh god. All right, heal up. I think it's that one. Yeah, it is. Unfortunately, the other gargoyle got in the way. If I could get them to sync up on that fire casting again, that'd be great. I don't know if I have that much luck, though. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God! Fuck! <sighs> this is like a totally different boss fight when you have to keep your distance. How are we doing on arrows? We're okay. We got plenty. As long as we don't die. As long as we don't fucking die, we got plenty of arrows. I stayed too long. Oh no! We're okay. Seriously, I could get... I'm gonna heal. It feels so bad wasting... Feels so bad just going through Estus like this, but my health is so low, and we have to stand still for so long that I don't want to—I don't want to be able to be in like combo range for these guys. I don't think I can go back much further, so I'm stuck here for the time being. One gargoyle almost dead. Go 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 go. We're just gonna focus this one. I mean, I wanna get the low one down. One more shot on that one and he's down. Okay. Okay, we got this, boys! Shit. <laughs> this game so... We made this game so much harder. Which, I mean, I guess was the whole point, but... Come on, just, I'll just lock on. I was trying to be fancy. 
Oh my god, don't die. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? <gasps> oh! oh! That was almost it! I almost died there! I don't think I would have been able to recover mentally if I died there. I used so many shots on that. Holy shit. That was so much harder than I thought it would be. I think it's mostly because we can't just burst them down. Like, we have to dodge mechanics forever. I just got lucky, honestly. I fuck that. I just got lucky. Ugh. And now we ring the first bell of awakening. But what does it mean? If you've never seen it before, you'll find out pretty soon. Uh, you know what? Let's just, um... Use one of those Homeward Bones to get back. Because we ran through all those minions and... Actually, I mean, it's free souls. I think they're just going to be standing at the door trying to get into this place. So, I mean, that's free pot shots, right? Hey, bud. Yeah, they're just kind of all grouped up over here. We kill the archer and have a chance of getting a kidnapper's trident. And who doesn't want that? Can we have to make sure that we keep the, the ratio going? We can't uh, spend more souls on these guys and they actually give out. But in that regard, I think we're doing okay. You guys stuck in the doorway? Oh, fuck that, Balder Knight. Nope, 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 not worth. Not worth it all. Wait, can he go through the door? <laughs> Come on, knock him down. Knock him down! You win, Balder Knight. I don't think you can go through that door. I'm pretty sure it's like the area's blocked off, but still. I would use way more arrows on him than it would be worth. So we killed the boss. We rang the bell. Now we need to get to a vendor that can sell me more arrows. Because 54 is not gonna be enough to really get anywhere substantial. And in my mind, the easiest one to get to is going to be Andre the Giant. So we'll go through here. Uh, we should just be able to run right through. We, we got everything we needed in the cathedral, right? Oh, actually, there's one thing I need to take care of before I forget. But we're okay. We're, we're not on a time crunch for that or anything. Okay. Nice and easy. These guys don't actually follow you deep enough into this place to matter. And I'm thinking maybe we'll just go straight for a butterfly attempt and try that. I mean, it's pretty close. We can get over there pretty easy. I don't know, those guys are still thumping along, actually. Maybe they can get in here. Nah, we're gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. So... If we want arrows, which kind do you sell? Standard, large, and wooden. So those guys we killed, those little hollow dudes at the top of the cathedral weren't actually worth killing. We could spend all of the souls we have basically to get that. Uh, let's just go, let's maybe get 300. I don't think we'll need any more than that. At least not now. And then we could have him reinforce this. Oh, I don't have any Titanite shards. Shit, we are going to have to farm those guys. 
Oh no. Oi. Oi. Uh, can we cheese this? Does that block anything? No. There's somewhere you could stand to just fucking 100% cheese this fight. Is this it? Oh, no, a little, little more to the left. And then we can shoot arrows at what, the top here? What do we shoot arrows at? Oh. Let the cheesing commence! Oh, that took forever. Man, that took a long time. Totally not worth for the souls that we got, but I'm gonna go ahead and reinvest those 2,000 in more souls, or in, in more arrows. Uh, that took a oh, long man. time. Sorry, I, sorry, Andre. I didn't know what the fuck I was trying to do with these menus. I need to purchase items. Thank you, bud. I'm sorry that took me so long to figure out. So I'm just gonna reinvest those 2,000 we got from that guy. Yeah, a little bit more. Back in arrows. So we have 515 in the bank. I feel pretty good about that. Uh, he dropped a crafting item that we're not gonna be using anytime soon. This might not actually be a bad idea, uh, or a bad area, to actually farm up a few more souls in. We could uh, kill the butterfly, we could potentially go over and kill the hydra. You could cheese the hydra just like I cheese that guy. As long as you have enough shots, and well, we probably have enough shots. These guys can kind of sneak up on you, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to stagger them at all, so we're just going to keep our distance and shoot right into them. Hundred souls each, we use six shots, something like that. So this is actually a positive payout for us. Yeah, as long as we don't die. <laughs> Famous last words. Guy don't the the big stone demon thing that we killed, he doesn't come back. He's a one time only boss, so. We took care of him. The problem with running through this part is that you would have to before you get to the bonfire... Oh, we can cancel their animations. Look at that. We kept them stunlocked. The problem with running through this part is when you get to the bonfire, you are still in combat. So you can't quite sit down, and we'd have to kill one of these guys off. And by the time I actually was able to kill one of these plants, they would have all swarmed me and would take me down like that. It's so funny we can cancel their animations with just a little poke of an arrow. If you ever need moss to remove poison or to set yourself up to remove bleed stacks, if those start to get a little too high, this is the perfect place to go for that. Sometimes these do 35 damage, sometimes they do 31 damage, sometimes they do 36 damage. Not really sure that why that is. I mean, can you headshot a plant? Is that possible? I don't really know. Never really thought about it. Good, we need that. I'm going to save a lot of these just souls that we find on the ground, specifically for an instance where we die to a boss and we don't have enough fucking... En enough arrows to go attempt it again. Secret wall there, just right through it. Get yourself a nice bonfire. There is an area up ahead. I'll show it to you, where if you, um, well, basically you're baited, right? So there's an item over here. Get this after if you've killed the boss, because if you need multiple attempts on the boss, that item is just a pain to get, because a bunch of plants will come out of the ground and kind of chase after you for a while. And if you don't take the item, they don't, they never emerge. They just stay there. But the idea is, if you don't kill this boss in your first try, you're going to have to deal with plants chasing you in here as you run through. Which, I mean, gives you more souls, but it's also a bit more of a pain. And typically, when you're doing boss attempts, you want to have as many Estus as you get in here as humanly possible. So, setting herself up for victory, not doing that. This is the Moonlight Butterfly! This boss is all about rolling at specific times. Now we do have the advantage of having a bow, so normally you're waiting for DPS windows to occur on this fight. We can be a little bit more proactive. Okay. 
apparently none of my shots are connecting. I didn't know I would have to fucking aim these. This makes that a little bit harder. What happens when she starts shooting spell? Yep. Yeah. Start shooting spells. Wonder if I have to stay opposite of the way that she's traveling to get the trajectory right. Fuck. That looks good. Uh, you can't just put a shield up and block the little attacks. You always want to roll out of the way of the big ones, though. Like the slower ones, you always want to maneuver away from those. Because they hit really fucking hard. And this, you just want to roll through as it's approaching you. Nice and easy. So I wouldn't really say we're at an advantage here for using the bow because I won't be able to burst her down during the DPS window. Maybe if I had black fire bombs or something. My shots are being fucking blocked! I wasn't even looking! We wasted this window. We fucking wasted this window, team. Wow. Wow. Really gets out of there. Oh, we can just shoot her in the wings! That makes this easier. Oh, switching sides, huh? Getting comfortable? I understand. I roll around in my sleep all the time, little butterfly. Whoop! It was almost awful. I could have ended this fight right there. I suck dick at dodging. Oh, this works for me, though, if you want to stay there. Oh, that's so true. I can just block... I can block a lot of stuff with this. When she's on that side, anyway. I didn't take full advantage of that, for sure. Do you want to land? Are you getting tired? No one would fault you, okay? Everybody gets tired. Oh, thank you. All right, we'll just move down here a little bit so she doesn't explode on us. It's okay, little butterfly. You can rest longer than that. I don't mind. Go right ahead. I think that was the best DPS window we've ever had on this fight. Or we, or we will ever get, rather. I forgot she even had the attack she could do when she was flying over. You doing it again? Please don't. Dude, longest fucking butterfly attempt in human history, it feels like. Doing that same attack again? I mean, I know how to immunity frame that. I don't think it's going to work too. Wow. Okay, fuck you. <laughs> yeah, take a nap. That one really takes a lot out of you, huh? I understand. I need to move. It's okay, little butterfly. It's okay. Just sleep it out. No one blames you. No one blames you at all. You have a hard life. You protect this tower. I bet everyone wants to come to this tower. It's such a nice tower. And it's all yours. Almost there. Ow! Jeez. I've never seen the butterfly go to this side of the walkway. She's really far. I remember... I don't remember which series it was, but I remember a particular Moonlight Butterfly fight that we did where the butterfly just seriously left. She was like, fuck this, I'm out. And just straight up flew away into the hills. And it caught me so off guard. And I didn't... I don't think I had a... I don't think I had a homeward bone, so my only option was to just let this butterfly fucking leave. <laughs> and I had to leave my game and start it back up again to be able to do another attempt of the boss because it just straight up left. It was just like, yo guys, I'm piecing the fuck out over here. Good luck. The Watchtower Basement Key, Divine Ember and Homeward Bone. I think I'll go ahead and take that bone, go back 
and we'll run through the forest again. Go talk to Andre. And get ourselves some levels. Alright, so we're going up to level 18, putting... I didn't even count. I went back to count seven points in dexterity and two points in vitality. Increasing our health and increasing our damage. I'm just assuming the bow we're using scales with dexterity. Yeah, A scaling and dexterity, actually. Which is actually not bad for a starting weapon. My problem is I don't have any items to actually upgrade this weapon with, so maybe we take a little bit of time to farm these guys. Those dudes have shields, so that's fucking irritating, but... Oh god. Get out of first person! I'm trying to get out of the fucking first person! They snuck up on me, they stabbed me in the back! 